All right, everyone, I've got a simple problem here. Um, it's got some mixed operations in it, uh, some multiplication and addition. Uh, not a very difficult one, um, but um, it's one that I do see answered incorrectly um, quite a bit. And it's 5 plus 5 times 5 plus 5 equals what? Can you solve it? So we got 5 plus 5 times 5 plus 5. First of all, let's get one thing straight. This is an equation. Uh, I see a lot of confusion about that where people say, well, it's not an equation. Equations have equal signs in them. Equations are equating two different expressions. And I know a lot of people are going to say, well, the question mark is not an expression. Well, uh, if anyone's had algebra, a question mark could represent a variable. It could be A. Um, that, that could represent a number like 50 or 100 or 10 million. Uh, so yes, this is an equation. And the second thing I want to stress is that the order of operations convention does apply. Uh, this isn't solved just you know blindly left to right. So <clears throat> if you're familiar with the order of operations convention, and if you're not, um, I do have some other videos that I can put in the link um, in the description. Um, but uh, multiplication is solved first, uh, and then you would solve the addition. So um, yeah, because multiplication has a higher priority uh, than addition. So you first of all would take the 5 times 5, which is 25. And as you can see here, we brought it down. So we have 5 plus 25 plus 5 equals 35. So I know some people may have forgotten the order of operations, which um, I guarantee that's what's been taught to everyone. Some people may have learned, uh, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Some people may have learned it through acronyms that um, over the last several decades, uh, something like PEMDAS or BODMAS or BEDMAS or BIDMAS. Um, yeah, those are, are some common um, acronyms from, from English-speaking countries. Um, another way to solve this, though, um, is that you've got to, you should know that multiplication is nothing more than repeated addition. So you can actually replace the multiplication with addition. So another way to represent 5 times 5 is five, adding 5 fives. 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5 is the same thing as 5 times 5. Now I put parentheses around um, the fives where I converted the multiplication. Uh, now also keep in mind that doesn't change anything. I I always hear people in forums go, well, you just added parentheses that don't exist. Well, guess <clears throat> guess what? The, the only operation that's being done in that last equation is addition. So it doesn't matter where I put them. I could put parentheses around the first 5 plus 5 and nowhere else. I could put no parentheses in there. I could put parentheses around the last 5 plus 5 in that, that equation, and it doesn't change anything. So you have to understand what parentheses do. Um, so you're going to end up here with um, an answer that's going to be uh, 35 because you know you've got you're adding five sevens here in that last equation, which uh, adding five sevens is also the same as five times seven or seven times five, however you want to look at it. Um, but uh, the answer again is 35 if you do it that way. Uh, now, I also will hear a lot of people say, well, if I was supposed to do the multiplication first, and this is coming from people who are not understanding order of operations and the way we're supposed to do it, but some people will say, well, if I was supposed to do the multiplication first, why, why is it not listed first in the equation? Well, my answer to that is, okay. So I just put the 5 times 5 in the front, and then I say 5 times 5 plus 5 plus 5. And if you work that out, even through your wrong left to right method, your answer is going to end up being 35. So the correct answer to this problem is 35. Uh, and now I may hear some people say, but my calculator says 55. So here I've got an example of where I'm using the standard calculator on a Windows computer. Um, and at this point, I've typed in 5 plus 5. 
and I type the time symbol. Now what it what the standard calculator is doing, it's messing everything up. It's just saying, oh, uh, 10. It's it's really messing this up. Then I'm tape typing 5 again, right? So I've done 5 plus 5 times 5. So that's what the calculator looks like. Then I say plus. It's already jumped it up to 50 now. It's just do what it's happening is it's doing one operation at a time. And then I'm typing 5 again, that last 5 that we add. And then I'm hitting the equal sign and it's saying 55. So what's going on here? Uh, the problem is that the standard calculator on a Windows PC, um, or even a cheap calculator that you might get at the dollar store or dollar general, dollar tree, wherever, uh, they're only able to compute one operation. It can't remember multiple operations in, in one equation. So the, the answer here is you must use a scientific calculator um, or say the Android phone calculator is, is good. It works. Uh, I'm saying computer in the, my notes here, but I meant to say calculator. I know on, on my Samsung Android phone, if I type this in, I get the right answer. Uh, so it, it, it understands order of operations. Um, the other white right thing you can do is, unfortunately, for some reason on the Windows PCs, they normally default to that standard calculator. Um, you can switch it to scientific on a Windows PC, is, is which what I've done here. You can click on those little three lines to the left of where you've got scientific or standard, and it allows you to switch back and forth. So if you switch it to scientific mode, and in that mode, it can remember multiple operations. And that's what you need. Um, so you enter 5 plus 5 times 5 plus 5 equals, just like that. And you can see how it shows up on the scientific calculator here. And it gets the correct answer of 35. So the other thing I need to stress is you do not enter it as 5 plus 5 equals times 5 equals plus 5 equals. That is not how, how it was written. Um, I see this happening all the time. Um, and I don't understand the reasoning behind why people do that. I mean... You know, the calculator is only as good as the person using it. And I'm, and even if you had a scientific calculator and you would enter it in this way, you're going to get the wrong answer. Um, it, you saw what the equation looked like. It's 5 plus 5 times 5 plus 5 equals what? You have one equal sign in that equation. And yet people, for some reason, feel like they have to hit the equal sign after every operation, after, after every addition, after every multiplication. Um, I'm just going to tell you that's wrong. Uh, and I, I know some people are saying, well, why do you even have to mention that? Well, if you've seen some of the forums and some of the answers that I've seen, this is a really common mistake, and, and I don't really understand it. Um, but I'm hoping this was helpful. I know this is one of those little viral puzzles that shows up a lot on Facebook and other forums. But um, I just wanted to point out that the, the math puzzle crash course is on YouTube. We have a little fledgling YouTube channel with, <laughs> I think, less than 30 followers so far. But, you know, hey, it's what it is. Uh, so we're on YouTube. We also have a Facebook page where I'll typically, uh, when I put out a new video, I will post a, a link to it there. So anyhow, I hope this has been helpful. You know, feel free to like, share, comment. Um, feel free to subscribe even if you'd like to. I've got of some videos out there with uh, several thousand views so uh you know i'm hoping uh, i'm hoping that some of this information uh, is helpful to people i get it you know um, i'm gearing this more towards an adult audience especially maybe people that have been out of school for a while and just simply have forgotten you know it's it's not uh, it's not shameful to forget things after 20 30 40 50 years if if you don't use them on a regular basis so uh you know, I'm just putting this out there to kind of uh, give you guys a heads up, uh, let you know how this stuff works, and uh, hopefully some of my other videos might be helpful to you also. Anyhow, have a great day.